You know, this game doesn't really hold up as, as well as uh, some people say. Nothing, nothing makes me want to suplex someone more than someone who says this game doesn't hold up. Not because they aren't entitled to their opinion, but because their opinion is always based on garbage. Anyway, let's shut the hell up for two minutes. Fuck yes. <laughs> I guess I, I'm very critical of this game specifically because it's one of my it's my favorite game of all time and it means so much to me. Uh, but the, the things I'm critical about don't preclude me from appreciating the shit that does perfectly, like that opening, like this opening. Imagine the pants shitting going from being old enough to be like into the series already, and you're like, man, I can't wait for seven. Like, yeah. I just went through six, you know, like, and then waiting for this to come out, and then getting to this moment. And hey, guess what? Right in the fucking gameplay. Uh, even as someone... I, I hadn't played an RPG before I played this. Uh, even as someone with no RPG experience before this, this was something special. Just right away, it, it hooks you. And you're like, who am I? Who am I? Who is this yeah. newcomer? Cloud doesn't have a name at first, he's just ex-soldier. <laughs> Got some, some quick adjustments for LP purposes. Not too fast, because I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Attack a Will's tail is up a little tail. Kind of with his laser die. Did you like, die at the end of that? Maybe I did. Like, what is this shit they're throwing you in? And you're like, wait, what's happening? Yeah, you have no idea. You're just in the. This is in media res taken to its extreme. Like, what RPG starts you off like this, where you're just like, hey, also, if you take too long, they're gonna kill you. Yeah. I mean, it'll take a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you go walk away for a bit, they'll kill you. Camera movements. Yeah. And again, six began in media res, very much like this. Uh, but this is a much more high-paced hook that you can win. Like six starts off like the beginning of an epic. Mm -hmm. Seven starts off like the epic began, you know, a, a two days ago. Yeah. Well, technically, I guess it did begin two days ago because Cloud just woke up. And how, I mean, just the pants shitting of, like, <laughs> seeing a world of, you know, Final Fantasy in, in this perspective, I mm -hmm. mean... In this perspective, rendered in this detail. They almost make, I, I, by the way, I gave them all dumb names for this playthrough, <laughs> because yes. I've played this game, like, a dozen times. <laughs> Clud. I was, that was, that's always in my mind anyway, yeah. so I'm glad you went Clud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we saw things like moving fans and stuff, and... Yeah, we've seen individual floor. elements that look nice, but here, uh, because they have that power to do the pre-rendered backgrounds, they really just went nuts with it. And that's been the major impediment toward them remaking this game uh, in a, a more... in HD, basically, is they look at it and they're like, you know, that'd be a lot of work to remake all of those, and you think about just how many pre-rendered screens there are and the effort of doing all of that in modern 1080 or... <laughs> 4K or BART, or, or 4K or whatever resolution, that is a, a lot of effort. But then they're remaking the whole game? Mm. So, I don't buy that fucking argument? Anyway, and, you get, and it's filled with these incredible little moments like that. Like you're going there. 
you're going there and it just looms over everything. Or how Barrett is introduced to you. I don't trust you. Yeah. But now name me because I'm in your party. Or you're yeah. my party, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's just... It's not like, hey, buddy, we're, let's go adventure together and save the world. It's mm -hmm. like, nah, you're you're hired, and yeah, I you're, still don't trust yeah, you. Yeah, no, Cloud Cloud is a mercenary, and he the very reason he was hired is the very reason he's not trusted. Mm. The fact that he was ex soldier so it's like, well, we should bring him along because he's been in reactors. But then, well, you could turn us turn on us at any moment. Yeah, this could be yeah. a trap. Like, Cloud could still have, you know, just be leading them in. Like. Yeah, which is why Barrett actually joins your party right there. He's like, I don't trust you, so I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Previous Final Fantasy, uh, you could hold down a button to move your character faster, or no? You only ran at the same speed. No, they, they've always had the hold down a button to sprint mm -hmm. option. I think it's a more recent addition to where you can set it to automatically sprint. Because, hey, you're holding down that button the whole goddamn mm -hmm. game. I prefer to hold it down to walk slowly. Yeah, me too. Because it's very rarely that I need to do that. This little elevator ride. I might be able to do it with the videos I've recorded here, but... Because I'm probably going to play this game once a year for the rest of my life. Yeah. Uh, the next time I play through it, I think I'm going to... Play it with an eye for pacing. Mm. Like, I want to actually visibly graph the pacing of this game, where it has its highs and its lulls, and how long does generally take RoboGuards. I love that they translated the word RoboGuards. <laughs> this game's localization gets a lot of shit, and rightly so. We'll see some really egregious things in here. But whoever wrote RoboGuards with a capital R, <laughs> way to go. <laughs> I hope they just giggled a bit. And they're yeah. like, someone will probably tell me to change this, and then they didn't anyway. It's the one thing they left in, hoping it would be the thing that needs to get changed, but then the boss is like, perfect. RoboGuards, yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck. That what? <sighs> like, what's materia? And then I remember as a kid, like, bringing up the menu and being like, I don't. Actually, as a kid, uh, I didn't know what all the buttons were. I never played an RPG. I wasn't familiar with the, you know, the that inventory screen mm -hmm. and all of that. So when I first got into it, it took me a few minutes to realize how to get out of it. And I was like, well, I should make sure I don't get back into that by accident. <laughs> I won't be hitting that triangle button. Yeah. Because this was also the first game I got with my PlayStation 1. Which, that's a good gift. Yeah. Here's a PlayStation 1. Yeah. Here's Final Fantasy 7. Here's the reason this thing was designed. Yeah. <laughs> These two were meant to get to go together. Mm -hmm. If you never play another game on this thing, it'll be fine. Pretty much. Hell, a lot of people bought the PlayStation just as a CD player. Yeah. Apparently it was one of the best CD players on the market at the yeah. time, and it was more affordable. Like, I mean, that's been 70's tactic, always. DVD players and Blu-ray players. Oh shit, RoboGuards? Yeah. The RoboGuard. And I I had the same problem with this guy that everyone had, where the poorly translated messaging makes it sound like you're supposed to attack him while his tail is up. Mm. And so he would keep using his tail laser and would kill me, and go, huh. Well, I don't have a memory card, so I gotta replay this whole bit over again. Oh, fuck. My brother unplugged the PlayStation while we were playing it. Guess we gotta start right after over. we got that fire materia. Oh, yep. fuck. Yeah, it didn't really matter. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have a memory card for, because going from, let's see, I had a Genesis and then I got my PlayStation One in '97. I had no concept of memory cards. My yeah. parents had no concept of that because they didn't play video games, and all the games I played either had password systems, no progression system at all, or they had inbuilt. Uh, save slots. Yeah. Right? Like Zelda, for instance, had that. And so, when I got my PlayStation 1, uh, I didn't get it with a memory card. Which is kind of a problem, considering this game. <laughs> but because I was 11 at the time, I didn't even really notice. I just yeah. replayed the opening segments over and over. It'd be like, i get home from school, I would do my homework, and then I'd see how far I could get in this game before bedtime. And the furthest I ever got before I got a memory card was the... Shinra Tower, but I never actually got out of Shinra Tower before it's like, well, time for bed, gotta turn this off. 
it'd be great if when they remake this, if in this part, you know, Cloud still says that, and then Gray yeah. attacks the tail up, and then it shoots back, and he's like, why the fuck did you tell me to do that? He's like, well, I, I meant not to. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, my words are weird. I've been sleeping in a tank for four years. My head's all cloudy. Uh -huh. I love just the... Oh, man, like... It's so Final Fantasy, right? Like, you just think the character runs up and does a sword slash, just like before, mm -hmm. or, like, cast a spell, yeah. just like before. They do a victory pose, but they have their own individual ones, like... Yeah, it's not just... We, every Final Fantasy up to this point, the victory pose has been the calisthenic arm lift. Like, yeah, we did it! We've seen... Do several dozen characters do that exact mm -hmm. motion. But now Cloud does that spin, and Barrett's kind of like flipping people off by grabbing his shoulder. <laughs> Tifa stretches, and Yuffie does like a little dance. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's just, it's great to see, you know, just how true to, you know, their their franchise they were with this. Like, yeah, it's 3D, it's going to be a huge mm -hmm. change. But let's just, you know, give people still something to recognize. Because it is still Final Fantasy, it's just in 3D now. Like, they, they didn't use 3D as an excuse to, I don't know, completely reinvent the series. This is just the next logical progression. Mm. Uh-oh. Back attack. Yeah, but if you just try to run away for a bit, suddenly you're facing the right direction. <laughs> oh, shit. They shot all those precious jewels at us. <laughs> What is that little fucker? What it's is like that a thing? parrot. Yeah, like... Guard parrot? I think so. I like... I could see its name for a moment here. I like the, uh... Mono drive. <laughs> I like the timer... coming back. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was all over the place in 5 and 6. Like, I wonder if that was a thing. Like, if, uh... I wonder if there are things that they're doing here purposefully to make you immediately remember the previous games. Like, oh fuck, I remember that. To an extent, I think so. Like I said, I, I'm i I'm of the suspicion, not the belief, but the suspicion that 7 is a soft remake of 6. Simply because there are so many direct parallels between character and story and motivation between both games that it, it seems almost like they said, hey, let's try to do that again. Mm -hmm but a little bit, well, with our, our new graphical engine, or at least use that as as a basis for the new game, because the original pitch for Final Fantasy VII is fucking bonkers. It was supposed to take place in New York City. <laughs> it was going to take place in modern day, the modern, the real world in New York City. I think you're only going to have like three or four characters, and it obviously it changed a lot over time to give us this, but I imagine going from the New York City pitch to this, they use six as a significant template. Mm. Just, just you know, hey, we have this, let's look at this, let's just use that for inspiration. I wonder if uh, that whole, you know, tower climbing shit, if they they were specifically going, hey, let's let's show the player this depth, like, we're, look how oh, deep you can look. Probably, you, you have a 3D engine, right? You actually render things in three dimensions, why not have a big tower yeah. that exists in space? Good pacing. And that was the uh, fucking opening to the game. Yeah, that's the opening.